Yes. Um, I run art workshops, I do one to one teaching, and I'm an advocate for autistic people. Being autistic myself, um, I, I don't understand them and they understand me, so generally I can get through to them, and that's why I'm involved with the Princess Trust partly. Um, I also volunteer at various charities, um, some in Leicester where I live, um, some in Peterborough, some up, up north. So, this is my, uh, my story. So before the Princess Trust, I graduated from Vermont University in 2018, and uh, I did what most students do. You panic, and then you go, oh, I should probably apply for some jobs. <laughs> uh, I did 89 job interviews in three months, and I still didn't get a job. I think that's because I'm not very good at interviews. For example, in the first interview I did, they said, why do you want the job? And I said, because you've got a job and I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the truth, but not the right answer. <laughs> uh, so, after a lot of rejection, three months, 89 interviews, applying for thousands of jobs, um, at the end of 2018, I tried to take my own life several times. Um, I couldn't pay my bills, I was relying on food banks, I just really needed some support. So, how did I get involved with the Princess Trust? I heard about it on Instagram. Basically, I clicked on an ad once, and then it followed me around the internet for about two months. <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually started doing the, uh, the Get Into course. Um, I did a day at um, Marks and Spencer's, and I didn't get the like, job that they give you at the end. And I said to the, the Princess Trust person, I was like, actually, I don't really want to work at M&S, I want to run my own business. And they said, well, actually, we've got an enterprise store cards course starting tomorrow, so do you want to join? I was like, yeah, okay. Um, so the enterprise course is basically, I think it's online now, isn't it? But when in 2019, it was in person before the plague. <laughs> <laughs> so it was three days, basically you turn up and where there was about 20 people in the room when I turned up. And after three days, there was about 15 people. Some people have decided it wasn't for them. Some people have decided that maybe they just want to go do something else. And that's totally fine. Um, we learned about how to properly write a business plan, and taxes, and marketing, and accountancy, and boring stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after that, you basically get a, a worker, and they help you write a proper business plan. So they help me with pricing my work properly. So before, when I was doing some logo work, or graphic design work, I was charging 50 pounds for a logo, but it was taking me 350 pounds worth of hours. So, not really making any money, is it? Um, but yeah, we've got, we got a business plan made and they've got proper pricing, set up a website, they helped me with funding to set up a uh, website and do proper marketing. Um, and I got approved by the little panel that's kind of like Dragon's Den, but they're not scary. Um, in <laughs> September 2019, and I got my Princess Trust mentor, Roger, who actually had a meeting with yesterday. Um, then, <laughs> dun, 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 COVID happened, and uh, it was probably one of the hardest days of my life. On the 20th of March, 2020, on my birthday, I watched Boris Johnson on TV. Hello, you're straight, come to lockdown, etc. You know the one. <laughs> Which everyone in here watched it, I'm sure. Um, and I had £3,000 worth of uh, work verbally agreed at that time, and they rang me one by one, can't do the work anymore, I've had to lay off people, you know, and uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, but the, 
I know that the Prince of Trust gave me like the, the strength to like, you know, how do I deal with this? And actually, rather than just panicking and trying to go to bed or, you know, having a breakdown, um, it was a new challenge and they gave me some skills to actually be able to like you know, get through it. And uh, I rang my mentor and he talked me through, you know, what can we do? And uh, what was it again? Mm. Wait, no, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I've practiced this, I promise. <laughs> so uh, basically, I worked at a recycling centre in Leicester for six months to pay the bills, um, which sucked. It was 12 hour shifts for six days a week. Can't, I didn't want really to be doing that, really. Um, so I rang, I rang Roger in uh, May 2020, just as Leicester went back into lockdown. <laughs> um, and I set up uh, Catchy Gives. I decided that I wanted to sell physical products as somebody I've always wanted to do. So I got 100 of these stickers made, they're about this size. And I put them on Etsy, didn't think they would sell. And I sold 20 in the first day. And hundreds in two months, all over the world. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> my, my graphic design business is now thriving. Um, <laughs> you'll see it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've, I've got like quite a few clients now that are paying me regularly. It's, I've got a, a full income. Um, this is from the stalker, my main client also happens to be run by my sister. Um, and actually I do a lot of work for her. Um, but it's a business transaction, do you know what I mean? It's, it's fun. <laughs> um, Creative TV is um, when I was a producer and editor on a TV show that was for uh, people inside prison. So who here knows what Smart Attack is? No? Blue Peter? <laughs> Yeah, okay. I did a talk the other day to 18 year olds and they were like, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like a mix of Smart Attack and Blue Peter, where you can only use materials that you can find inside prison, so nothing sharp, nothing that you can make a key with, like basically that. And uh, I was the producer on that TV show as well as a presenter. Um, and that went out to every single prison in England and there was 30 shows and it got rave reviews. But you have to go to prison to watch it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so catchy. Uh, I now I now have my own stationary line. Um, in in during the pandemic, um, the Princess Trust helped me with a grant to get a sticker sticker cutting machine and a badge maker, and that like blew up my business. Basically, it went from selling like a few stickers online to. I'm selling hundreds of badges and hundreds of stickers online. I've got my own stationery line, I go to lots of different markets, I go to Pride events, um, Birmingham Pride, Salford Pride, Manchester Pride, all of the Prides. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recent cheap. oh no, I forgot to bring it with me. I forgot to bring it with me, I've only got one left, it's my money box. <laughs> um, in, in the end, the start of 2021, I think it was, um, I entered a competition with the Princess Trust to design a Nescafe can, and I won, I, I, along with five other, three or four other people, um, and it was sold in every supermarket in the country, and mine was the best seller. So, <laughs> <laughs> not there's a competition. <laughs> um, last year, I won the Princess Trust Your Achiever Award, went to a fancy business event, and I got to meet Ewan Thomas, who was the presenter, that was a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. And, uh, here's the video that they got made, that Princess just got made for that event. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator, a tutor, and a Princess Trust general ambassador. When I left university in 2018, did what every uni student does, panicked a little bit, and then decided to apply for lots of jobs. I had 89 interviews in three months, and I never got a job. I think it's because I'm autistic, and I'm not very good at in interviews. After mental health crisis, my support worker um, mentioned the Prince's Trust, and decided, actually, maybe it's a good idea to join the Enterprise Programme, and then they helped me grow my business into what it is today. 
Princess Trust is celebrating its 40th anniversary of its enterprise programme this year. It's a big achievement for us and we've set up hundreds if not thousands of businesses during that time. We are involved until the business is launched and then following that we match all of our young people with a business mentor to really go out there and make that business plan happen. My role really was to support Kieran, to be there for Kieran. Probably one of the most important things that we talked about was um, given to really appreciate his expertise and to value his work. So I launched a new website and launched on social media and then COVID happened. I was struggling to find other businesses that needed work. We talked about stuff that I could be doing, things on the side. So I got some figures made and within two months I sold a hundred to all over the world. It was a really big boost. I got a COVID grant from the Princess Trust to buy a sticker cutting machine. So I could design my own and then cover my home. Kim stuck with it when he when he could have given up. And it's really about commitment and it's that belief in himself which has enabled him to develop and get to where he is now. My graphic design business has grown from only having one client that we're paying irregularly to having many clients that are paying irregularly. It's helped my business massively because it helped me massively and I am my business. I want to grow my products business, be a household name within five years. I want to be employing at least three autistic designers and have an office and regular clients. Those are the good to the point they all feel like it. It's a really big achievement. The Princess Trust can see where I've been from 2019 to now. I usually like sat in a corner in my book one morning and now I'm like, give me attention please. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm starting another business. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is with my former college tutor. We stayed in contact and uh, we decided to start a business together as a full service design agency. Um, I was hoping the website would be built by the time I did it, but it's not. It's just a landing page at the minute. So if you do want to get some design work, then contact me and I'll send you the link to this. Uh, Speaking of contact, where to connect with me? <laughs> if you go, if you want a discount at Catchy, use code PT20 to get ten percent off. <laughs> that's my new business. That's my current business. And uh, if you want to come and chat with me, then please do. Thank you.